That looks like a ghost. Looks like a ghost? Don't be smacking your lips at me. I ain't trying it. Especially on camera. I don't want to look like so, a, I I look like an accident. amateur blowjob specialist. <laughs> oh my god. I don't care if you is filming. Why? What's wrong with your English? What's, what do you mean what's wrong? What's wrong with your my Spanish? It's broken. All right, there you go. That's what's wrong with my English. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> you broke? I'm broke. <laughs> my pocket's broke. Pocket is broke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Even my little China man was broke. That's why he charged four dollars for a delivery fee. We don't want to hear about your little China man. China, China. So Wait, anyway, like the I'm... Chinese person. I know. Wasn't that racist? Wait, the little China. <laughs> wasn't that racist? <laughs> Who? The little China. <laughs> Working with him, big travel, little China. Little We're China working man. with him. <laughs> as far now. as the accent, I don't know. I don't know about the accent, but we're working with him as far as the racism. I'm not racist, <laughs> no. Not racist. Says every racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I hate it when people do that. Like when they're like, "I didn't do it." Says Wait. the guilty person. I never once wore a hood. You got a hood on now and sunglasses. You can't see me. I'm invisible now. <laughs> yeah, if you can't, if I can't see you, you can't see me. That's how Actually, you look I'm like invisible. a meth dealer. I'm invisible. The invisible man. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> What's that red piece hey, of paper? Fake noodle. Oh, <laughs> what? Face. No, not you. His Let face. the kid tell the joke. I'm okay. He wants to say what do you call a fake noodle. That is not what I want to say. That's what you just said. Nope. He did want to say because if you've recorded it fast enough, you've got the impasta. That's like really low. Well, that's and I don't know. You just said what do you call a fake <laughs> noodle? An impasta. That's you. Yeah, I got way back. Well, well, tell me one of your jokes. I mean. <laughs> there, is there a light on? No. Okay, go ahead then. No, I mean, you just kind of put me on the spot, though. Okay, I'll give I you just, a few I, seconds. It, it's hard to work under pressure. I'll give you a few seconds. <laughs> and I'm the racist one. I said situation. Right. There was nothing I'm about racist. I'm the one white guy in the brew with the two black people. <laughs> oh, that oh, was so racist. That is racist. That's what it is, isn't Out it? Outnumbered. And outwitted. Well, outwitted, definitely. Okay. On with your joke. He's gonna attack me! It's out of focus. It won't focus at all. Camera won't focus at all now. You just... It's swooning. The camera's swooning. What happened? What? How? Be careful. That's what's going on around here. Everybody's getting oh. hurt. Any more jokes? Hmm? Tell us a joke. Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's for real slavery up in here. <laughs> Tell us a joke, Dance no? Monkey. <laughs> no, no, you're not a Mona. Tell us a joke. really disappointing. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, I don't have any. I'm running out of bat anyway. Yeah. I never knew the story to how Pizza Hut got started. It started with like $600 in 1958 by two brothers. It's pretty cool. Just getting some food on a Friday night. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Because no. you ran up the stairs. No. <laughs> so the plumber just left. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
the the sink was backing up into the dishwasher or whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's now opened up and it stinks so bad. So now the door <laughs> is closed and there's two candles here. And I have the window open because it smells like a body in here. Like a dead body. It's horrible. It's Saturday. And I was hungry. Before, before the plumber came. <laughs> I, I'm not really hungry anymore. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> however, starts nervously eating leftover pizza. Honey. I'm not nervous. See? <laughs> I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she broke out. She broke out of the house because of the smell. Ugh. Oh, I'm about to turn it off. She's about to cop a squat. I thought for sure you'd be hurt already. <laughs> Why did you dab on the end though? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's Sunday and now Margo is here and I'm sick. Still contemplating going back to the hospital because none of the meds that they gave me work. And guess where she's been? The DR. Yes, the DR. I would show you pictures, but some of them are a little, you know, racy. <laughs> Especially the swimsuit ones. <laughs> okay. So I've been to Springfield, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and I always thought the New Yorkers was going to be the pricks. Mm -hmm. Wrong. It was the, the Massachusetts. What? Yes. Why? Because I was up there. I mean, mind you, the the, the results of me, the reason for me being up there mm -hmm. was not the best of reasons. Uh huh. Because a pharmacy and stuff was closing down. Yeah. But the New Yorkers were still cool. Were they? Yes, they was cool. I always thought it was be wise first of that. I always thought the New Yorkers would be the pricks and the people from Massachusetts would be pretty cool. Wrong. Wrong. But you was going down there because their pharmacy is closing. That means people were losing jobs. I mean, it's not like they're going to be high-fiving you when they see you coming. I wouldn't expect people to high-five them. I'm just saying, like, you, what do you expect? Like, I expected a couple directions. Somewhere good to go to eat. But you were going in there and their job was disappearing. Like, like they weren't going to be working anymore. They was getting transferred or something like that. Oh they still God. had jobs. But I'll tell you what. Huh. People from Connecticut... Uh -huh. Hats off to them boys. Oh, wow. They give you directions and sit and talk to you for 30 minutes in the middle of the gas station. This is how you know you're from the South. Hell yeah. Besides the accent. Hell yeah. So it got so bad that I have to go back to the hospital. And so that's where we're headed now. I was stra straightening out the situation with the kid because he actually went to spend a night over a friend's house. Um... So hopefully they can get down to the bottom of it because I have, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I'm back on prednisone and that I have gotten like a ton of other medications to take now for the Clipper Weber um, and the pain associated with it. It's just acting up so bad and it hurts so bad and it's been since Wednesday and it's still not fixed. It's kind of cramping my style a bit. Although... The best day of my, the best hair day of my life is still going on strong. Ah. So apparently the secret to having great hair is being ill. 